Right now on WJCL 22 News at 7, we are following breaking news out of Florence, South Carolina, where there are reports of five officers being shot during an active shooter situation. Details straight ahead. Plus, groups in Georgia and South Carolina want federal officials to do more to prevent election hacking. How they suggest election officials get the job done. And we are tracking more summer-like warmth. I'll show you how long the hot weather sticks around coming up. Covering Southeast Georgia and the Low Country, WJCL 22 News at 7 starts now. We begin tonight with breaking news just into the WJCL 22 newsroom. Five South Carolina officers have been shot. Good evening. I'm Shannon Royster. And I'm Cassidy Lance. Well, local media reports three county deputies and two city police officers were shot in Florence, South Carolina. We're told it was part of an active shooter investigation in a subdivision off of Hoffmeyer Road. Now, area schools were placed on lockdown. The suspect has been taken into custody, but officials say that scene is still active. We are working to learn more and we'll have the latest tonight on our news at 11. Well, right now, several roads are closed as Savannah police investigating a shooting near Dathan Park. WJCL Sierra Lucas has the latest for us from the scene at B Road and Washington Avenue. Well, traffic has reopened on B Road and Washington Ave after a shooting incident this afternoon here at the Daffin Park Dog Park. Still no word on the victim's condition at this time. We're working to learn more information. Stay with WJCL for developing information. For now, reporting from Daffin Park, Sierra Lucas, WJCL 22 News. Hey, good evening everyone. Warm temperatures continue to blanket the southeast. We hit 90 degrees this afternoon in Savannah. We have cooled off nicely though. Much more about your forecast as the weekend nears coming up. Right now, two people are facing charges after a man was found dead in a home in Rankin. Evingham County deputies charged 25 year old Aaron Knight and 31 year old Autumn White with murder and assault. The victim has not officially been identified, but deputies believe he is 64 year old Dennis Wills. Deputies say the man was found dead in his home on Holly Lane Tuesday morning. No word on when Knight and White will go before a judge. Well, a person is dead and another in jail after a hit and run today in Garden City. It happened on Main Street near Brampton Road. WJCL's Jackson Kurtz reports. The crash happened at the intersection of Brampton Road going all the way down Highway 25, where one person was found dead. Investigators say driver of the tractor trailer, Jerry Coral, was following the moped too close before the stoplight. The Chatham County Coroner says they released the identity of the driver of that moped once they notify the next of kin. Reporting in Garden City, I'm Jackson Kurtz, WJCL 22 News. Well, Crime Stoppers and a Savannah Church is offering up to $3,000 for information in a homicide. In June, local activist Sean Trey Grant was shot to death in a botched robbery. Grant was known for his stand against gun violence. The investigation into his death is ongoing. Tips leading to his killer is eligible for the $3,000 cash reward. And if you know something that can help investigators, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers. In Commitment 2018, we are a little more than 30 days away from the midterm election. Well, today, WJCL learned political groups and universities are asking for the Department of Homeland Security's help in fighting election hackers. WJCL's Kyle Jones is in the studio for us with details. Kyle. Guys, in a letter sent yesterday to the Election Assistance Commission and Homeland Security, it includes local signatures from the Georgia Institute of Technology and the University of South Carolina urging the agencies to stop the electronic filing of voting records. Now in the letter, more than 30 people from institutions around the country urged the DHS and the Election Assistance Commission to warn states against using Wi-Fi and voting machines. Now the letter goes on to say they don't think ending wireless modems will completely end hacking attacks. They say that there are other ways for attacks to happen. The best way they say to ensure safety is with voter verified paper ballots and manual post election audits. In the studio tonight, Kyle Jones, WJCL 22 News. Well, people in South Carolina now have more time to register to vote. The deadline is extended to October 17th. Well, Thursday, State Attorney General Alan Wilson filed a lawsuit against the State Election Commission. 
He says historic flooding has closed many voter registration offices and people should be allowed more time. Now again, South Carolina voters have until October 17th to register. That includes online, in person and mail in registration. If you are already registered, you can visit scvotes.org to make sure your registration is up to date. You can also use the SC Votes mobile app to register. Well, debates are set in the South Carolina gubernatorial race. Current Governor Henry McMaster will face Democrat James Smith twice this month. In the Lowcountry, Joe Cunningham and Katie Arrington are racing to represent South Carolina's first congressional district. Arrington beat out Mark Sanford in the primary. In Georgia, Stacey Abrams will face Secretary of State Brian Kemp for the state's top job. If she wins, Abrams will be the first Democrat governor since 2003 and the first black female governor in the country. A debate over playtime coming up. We'll tell you why some members of the Savannah Chatham County School Board are divided about a break time policy. Running for a reason this weekend, dozens will lace up their shoes for a good cause. A local event will benefit one of five nursing students killed in a crash in 2015 how you can be a part of it after the break. Stay with us. We are following breaking news out of Florence, South Carolina. Five South Carolina officers have been shot. We have just learned that one of those officers has died. Well, local media reports three county deputies, two city police officers were shot today during an active shooter investigation in a subdivision off Hoffmeyer Road. Now, area schools, they were placed on lockdown. The suspect has been taken into custody, but officials say that scene is still active. Now, we are working to learn more, and we'll have the latest for you tonight on our news at 11. We are following breaking news out of Florence, South Carolina. Five South Carolina officers have been shot and we have learned that one officer has died. The other four in the hospital and local media reports that happened this afternoon during active shooting in a subdivision off Hoffmeyer Road. Area schools were placed on lockdown. The suspect has been taken into custody and is being evaluated at the hospital. Now we have a crew on the scene and we'll have a live report tonight in our news at 11. All right, thank you so very much for joining us tonight. Again, we will see you at 11. For the latest, go to our website, wjcl.com.